Alright, what do we got? What's the A-W? Oh. 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 Thals. Yes. Yawn. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm coming from Honduras in 1997. I was born and raised in the east side of Memphis, Tennessee. I'm from Bogota, Colombia, East Memphis. I'm pursuing to get my high school diploma. I gotta learn how to read. I need a job, a real job. I'm trying to get my high school diploma. You know, when people hear the name Collierville Literacy Council, they think that we're an agency just in Collierville that helps people learn how to read. People learned about us and what we were doing and um, how we did it in a very nurturing environment, connecting with our students really has attracted uh, students from all over Shelby County and Mississippi. Came to Collierville Literacy Council and they pointed me into the direction, had me doing my OPTs first, and they pushed me on ahead to, you know, to go ahead and do my high school diploma test. When I left my school about 20 years ago, I forgot everything. When I came in here, I started from the bottom. My wife told me, you know what, you, you need to change the job. You need a GED. I have problems uh, to pass, to met. And uh, they offer me uh, classes. Well, I'm trying to get my high school diploma because I want to open up a, a spa. And I need to get my license in order to continue my journey. It's hard to read. I do, I do have a reading disability. My goal is to read more better than I am now. But I want to read on a level where I understand everything that somebody could put in front of my face and I could read and be like, oh, I understand that now. My first language is not English and it was so hard for me, the grammar and everything. I passed, you know, everything else and I got to the English and the language and that was my most difficult one. Two, three teachers helped me a lot and uh, I see the results. We need people who are committed uh, to learning how to be a tutor and maybe more importantly people who are willing to be friends, um, confidants, um, people who can encourage and that comes from a real deep personal commitment. They put me in here, got me with Miss Pat and Miss Pat is one of the best teachers I've, you know, encountered. I love her. <laughs> From the first moment I saw her, she is so good with us. Uh, she gave me confidence. She's there for you to talk when you, you know, need that. When you need that person to talk and help you out, she's there for you. It's a joy to me because I can see how well the students work together and encourage each other. Having that two-on-one or one-on-one -on -one and somebody is there at all times to got me through it. Very, very good experience when then. We see them building their confidence and um, really um, wanting to accept that challenge of, you know, improving their literacy skills at whatever level that may be. I'm getting there. I'm learning it and trying to study it as best as I can. Because well, I had two goals this year, and one of these was to get it the high set. Building these basic blocks to be, whether it's an individual contributor to the local community, society, or becoming a better employee, starting with the high set puts them on a road of success. We've been fortunate that people are really invested in what we do here and know what a difference we make and what our community would be like if we weren't here. We need to give back by investing dollars, investing volunteer hours, and also investing loan funds into the communities that we serve. Bancor South here um, in Collierville thankfully donates annually um, towards a scholarship fund. They provide that fund for our students who cannot pay for their initial um, fee. 
uh, the $25 fee. It is a $25 investment to that mom or dad that needs that high set to complete the job application to become successfully employed, employed and provide for their family. I'm like, where I used to be is nothing compared to where I am now. So I'm like, oh, I must be doing good. If we weren't here, we wouldn't be able to have um, 273 individuals graduate with their high school diploma. We wouldn't be able to help over 25% of the foreign-born population to be able to go to their children's school and engage with their teachers and go to the grocery store and buy groceries. If we weren't here, we wouldn't be able to help someone um, buy a birthday card for the first time or to be able to read the labels of their medication and to be able to safely take care of themselves. Those are very important for us, for our community, for us to continue to grow as a strong community. Um, education is key. Without us being here, um, we wouldn't be able to impact and touch the lives of so many adult learners. This is a good place because I, I know I help a lot of people. You eat meat with a fork and split, no, sip mm -hmm. Coke through a straw. Yeah. <laughs> you got that one right away. Got it. Yes. Thank you.